Okay, happy Saturday, guys. I'm here to say exactly what the title of this video says. If you are 40 plus and you have been contemplating on getting on YouTube or starting a channel, just do it. Just do it with no regrets. Do not care about what people say. Don't care about the mean comments you could possibly get. Don't care about you looking perfect. Don't care about the background. And the reason why I am posting this video today is because lately I've been posting a lot more and I've come back to YouTube doing the things. I've been on YouTube for probably over 10 years and I used to post unboxing videos and it was only unboxing luxury videos. And even when I would post those videos, I after I stopped the camera, I didn't get a feeling of, um, I don't know, gratification. It was, okay, what am I gonna buy next and what am I gonna unbox? And that's just the real. And that's when I started like a few years ago, leaning away from YouTube and becoming, and it's not even a few years, probably like a decade, I went more to Instagram because of the, before Instagram got like how it is now, it was the appreciation of just getting on there, liking someone's picture. Someone posted something, there weren't a bunch of ads, there weren't a bunch of, um, reels. It was just people posting a pretty picture, making a caption and you liking it. The reason why I'm stressing to people that are 40 plus to get on YouTube, if you are afraid to do that, and that's been a fear of yours, it's because there is a community here for us. There definitely is. We are people. There are people in their 30s who miss the old school YouTube videos. There are people, I don't know, in their 20s. My daughter's in her 20s. She doesn't watch YouTube. But in their 30s, there are people who actually genuinely miss YouTube the way that, um, the way that it was. And I gave myself um, not even a time frame. I just, in the last month, just started posting. And I finally bought a camera and I actually enjoy uploading from my phone better, but there are advantages to uploading from your camera because like say I go out on my walks and I wanna show you guys my walks, I can have um, the camera in, in my hand and also listen to my walking app and kind of bring you guys along and share that with you. But I'm past the, what if I get a mean comment? What if so, I saw a girl and she, I think she's 42 and she just became very, very viral here on YouTube in the last, I wanna say two months, like since September. And she was posting like five videos a day and she was getting really po majority positive comments, but of course there were the trolls who came and were like, oh, you shouldn't even be on here. You're ugly, you're this, you're that, you're the other. And she responded the same way I think I would respond. Delete and block, like delete and block. You're not, I'm not gonna be, um, entertaining to everybody. I'm not gonna be beautiful to everybody. Um, I'm not gonna be liked by everybody. And I know that from real life. I know that from living 48 years of life, that that's just not a thing. No matter how nice of a person I am, no matter how great of a person um, somebody might think, there's always that next person who's gonna think, you know what, I'm not, I'm not great. Back to you, back to you posting. Uh, if you have a phone, you can post on YouTube. I don't care if your favorite thing is gardening. There is a gardening community on YouTube. I don't care if your favorite thing is your pet. There is a pet community on YouTube. There is a community for every single person on YouTube, so don't be discouraged. And there are people who don't even show their faces in videos. Like, there are people that have successful videos that don't even show their faces. So if you're embarrassed or shy to get on YouTube and show your face, let's, let's put that all aside and let's not even worry about make that an issue anymore. I just wanted to put out in the atmosphere what's people have been putting what I've been seeing in my feed lately and I feel like it was kind of my sign to make a video saying this as well just do it if that's what you want to do there are YouTube watchers there are some people who have no desire to make videos and they just want to watch YouTube so that and that's fine so this video is not for you but if you're watching and you just want to watch well this video is for you but for the people that are struggling with I really want to get on YouTube I really want to make content um, I'm not a TikToker. I I'm gonna give that to the Millennials I know there are people that are older than Millennials on TikTok um, that are, are are successful but TikTok's just a little too fast-paced for me I don't even have it I have a TikTok account but I don't go on there hardly and I don't post on it it's just a little too much and I could see myself getting back into it, how much I loved Instagram and then all the ads. And, and then there's, I guess, TikTok shop and people are buying on TikTok. I don't, your girl doesn't need all that. If I want to buy something, I don't need a TikTok shop to tell me how to buy something. I can run out and go and go buy it. So I'm, I have not dibbled and dabbled in the TikTok world yet. And 
I can't even tell you if I if I ever ever will. Um, never say never. But um, I wanted to say that also that YouTube is a place where people where the lonely come. And the reason why I say where the lonely come also it's because you can kind of just be in your own world watching YouTube, or you can be in Target parking lot like I am. I'm about to go grab some stuff out of Target and then go to Home Depot. And if you just have some things you want to get off your chest, once you build a community, some people that get to used to seeing you and that enjoy your videos, little things like this, where you're getting things off your chest, that's going to be just something else that kills their time um they might be on a treadmill they might be on a walk they might be at their office and have their headphones in and doing work and this might just be some background noise for them but there are benefits for everybody the youtuber and the person who watches youtube and the person who does both and i'm like i said i'm speaking to 40 plus because i think once you get to that age you are fearful there are 30 year olds that are fearful for on 20 year olds, but I think at 40, you're like, who's gonna wanna watch us? Who's gonna wanna watch? And there are people that generally will watch you. And a small story I'm gonna stick in here um, before I head into Target. So a person about a, a, a year ago um, that I no longer speak to told me that they were like, and I, you you don't have any, they were like, um, you don't even have any friends. And I was just like thinking in my head, um, number one, I have God. <laughs> I speak to God every morning, so that's my friend. I have a husband. My husband, I speak to every morning. I have a daughter who I'm very close to. I speak to her. Even when we get into our little tiffs, my daughter and I talk about everything. I have parents. I speak to my dad. I'm a daddy's girl, so I speak to my dad um, every day, and my mom's in the background. Those are my friends. A lot of you that have been commenting on my previous videos, you got some of us we've never met. You guys, are. I, we have shared things about each other's lives, um, and I consider you guys my friends i do are we the best of friends where we see each other every day no because i haven't met you in person but do we share things on instagram do we share things via text message we we do so for the 20 30 40 50 whatever year old if you are a person who's like i don't go to clubs i don't have a lot of friends all friends aren't good friends i'm gonna tell you that all situations are not good situations so you might develop your own network of friends even though you haven't met in person via some type of social media platform and i kind of thank that person for, for for saying that to me because it made me realize like i i had no desire to be in groups of 20 women going to a club every freaking week that's not my lifestyle that's that's not my that's not my lifestyle if i had that i would not be happy like if i if i was like let me go out with 20 other women this weekend and we're gonna go to the club and get, I can do that in my house. I can do that at home and I'm perfectly content. Maybe in their life, that's what they needed to be or feel fulfilled and feel feel like they were somebody, but that's not what I need in my life. So I hope that this video just put some things in the universe for you if you were the one debating on starting this your youtube journey just start it i'm hope i retire in in june of next year i'm hoping um let's let's get to the real too monetization it would be great if i got monetized it would be amazing but guess what if i didn't i enjoy doing this because you i guess you have to get four thousand watch hours and i don't even know i, th I think i'm at like 1400 watch hours which is no big deal but even <laughs> without getting monetized i enjoy this i don't pick up this camera every day to say i need to get monetized tomorrow i need to get monetized tomorrow i don't i just just it's just not if it happens great if it doesn't and this is a way i like expressing myself this is what i'm gonna do to express myself so yeah start that channel so just even post something on your phone that you think is silly start something um write down some ideas that you have um just start just start what's it what's it gonna hurt and then if you do it and you don't like it guess what just delete it end the story but i'm getting in target have a great weekend you guys um i'll talk to you later bye